Hello, Lancers. This is Gina Harris coming to you live from Robinson Stadium at Pasadena City College. And I am sitting here with Coach Marr after their first team scrimmage. How'd it go? Nobody got hurt seriously, so it went great. We had about 92 kids suited up, and everything went off without a glitch. Special teams were great. I think we kicked about six field goals today, and that was great. Um, really happy with Jesse Hankel, the quarterback from from Sunland, from Valley Christian. He proved that he's a, a great talent. In general, how does the team look for the season? Well, we have to remain healthy. So we have a first group that's pretty good and a second group that's pretty good and then we you know we we our depth we kind of run out of the kids so we got to be really really careful about you know how we use certain people what I noticed was the hustle during practices I, I would keep hearing the coaches say hustle 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 hurry up getting your huddle hurry up you know like after each play to hurry up and get back to the huddle officials out here today that kind of um, hit that point home did it not yes and back when I first got hired I called up the you know the guy the assigner for all the officials rich colon and I asked him that I wanted I wanted referees for last Monday and Wednesday and then of course today and I wanted referees for next Wednesday and of course the Fullerton scrimmage on August 27th uh, which would be the final scrimmage and so they've cooperated and helped me out like the scrimmage we had last Wednesday was wonderful we did a two-minute drill Vasto with special teams attached to it field goal and punt we did a backed up scrimmage where we put the ball at the minus one inch line and you know, demanded the offense fight their way out and get a first down before we had to punt. And uh, and that went off really well. So the kids are getting an education on situational football, and that, that helps a lot. And uh, we did not practice yesterday because of the power outage on campus. And so we had to tell all the kids to go home. And so it was probably a blessing in disguise from the standpoint of, you know, letting them get off their legs. Because we were going to do another two and a half hour grind last night. We weren't going to hit each other, but we were going to, um, you know, ask a lot of them. And we're, you know, we're trying to still teach and we're installing. And training camp, your practices go, you know, two and a half. They can even stretch to three hours if you have a lot of creative early out things. And you don't do that during the season. You know, you're out, your practices will be in that one and a half hours to two hour range during the season. So, so the legs get weary. You know, so we do ice baths where the kids come in the training room and, you know, submerge their whole body in ice, and it that feels really good when you're, when you're a football player. I think you guys look great, so I'm looking forward to great things coming from you. I appreciate it, and I, I want to say thank you to Lee's Hoagie House up on Colorado Boulevard for providing the meal tonight. You're watching Lancer Sportsnet. We'll be right back. 